This is Steve from Boxing UK in association with Supreme CBD. Do you like me doing? Dave Allen? Joined? Joined? Dave Allen, White Rhino. <laughs> Talk us through that four and a half minutes, Dave. Yeah, it was all right, mate. It was, uh, it was what it was, you know. The opposition, we got him in a couple of weeks ago and uh, tough, tough man, you know. Look at his record, he's very tough and uh, endurable and he you know, carried a bit of power, he was strong, but he was undersized and you know, the ambition probably out of him, but it was, it was another step back to where to where I want to be. So got, got the job done, I guess. That's all. That's all you can say on it, really. Locally, you like Newcastle, don't you? Yeah. yeah. You like coming up here. Yeah? Can I ask what you're doing afterwards? Um, Am I allowed to know what you're doing afterwards? Well, I'm not doing anything exciting. You're pregnant on birds here. I'm good to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good to, to be honest. Yeah. Good crowd there. Yeah, good mate. Yeah, Gen yeah. General atmosphere is, seem to be. It's really great to see you back. Yeah. Not everyone shares that though, Dave, as we've no, just no. been speaking. Yeah. What, what's your thoughts on being back in the ring? Yeah, I think it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, um, life's about doing what you enjoy. We're only here once. So I'm medically clear to do things. What I always say is if you, life is for living, we're here once. Do what makes you happy if, you, if you're safe. While I'm medically safe to compete, and I want to compete, I will. So I don't care what anyone says to me. I might have a couple of years ago, but you know, I see lots of things online, I see lots of things written, I see lots of things spoken. But um Do you know a lot of that comes from a good place though? Because you yeah, are of course, yeah, of course. But the thing is, I've had, I've had some hard fights, right? You know, I look at it me and I just think, if people worry about me, yeah, this is this is not a dig at anyone, but if you worry about me, then you must be sending fucking letters to the board daily about the fact that Derek's is alright. That's a worrier, mate. He's had so many hard fights. A lot of fights than me. He's took more shots. He's tougher man than me. People like that. Don't worry about me. Do you know what I mean? It makes, it makes me laugh. Think, fucking hell. For 27 fights. I don't have 10 amateur fights. Fucking hell. <laughs> what? Yeah, the prize fight was bad. The music. I got fucking done inspiring. Everyone gets done inspiring. I, I was going to ask you about yeah. that. That. And there's been a bit of a Ferrari this week about sparring footage being released with AJ and Joe I release, Joyce. I released the U6 sparring footage. I've Has that no done you more damage than harm though, Dave, I doing that? I've got, I've got no ego about things, yeah. but it's only sparring. Congrats. Well, you sick gentleman as well. Probably could have finished me off. Don't think he could have. But, uh, <laughs> but, um, but I've got, there's no ego there. I'm not bothered. Yeah. But got done sparring. It helps that he's every champion in the world. Yeah. But, um, I got done in sparring. David Price beat me up, put me on a, put me on a stretcher. Being and gone, medically cleared to box. And, and until I'm not, and I want to box, I want box. And if people don't like it, I don't really understand because it's none of their fucking business. <laughs> you don't want to watch me, don't fucking tune in. Simple as that. But to be honest, most of it's good. 99% of it is positive. And 100% of it, to my face, is positive. So, I'm not bothered. You can say what you want about me. Do you know what I mean? Like, I've, I've got no, I've got no dislike for anyone. I'm not bothered. I don't dislike anyone in the world. To be honest, I don't. I really don't. So if you don't, if you dislike me for boxing, then fucking what do you want me to do? Can't help you. Good man. You say about medically leave the boxing. You are back in the ring. Yeah. At this stage, that's the second fight since the comeback. Yeah. In inverted commas. Everyone charges all Babbage fight. That's the one that yeah. everybody wants. Can you put that on the back burner? Because at the minute, it's still just about getting round, surely, isn't it? Yeah, yeah I'm not ready for Babbage, to be yeah. honest. Yeah, miles off, to yeah. be honest. Yeah. So, what would you map out the next 12 months for Dave Allen? Uh, I think I might box in two weeks at the Magna, possibly. If not, I'll probably... The max I'll wait is eight weeks. Yeah. I've had two rounds in two years, yeah. and I've had five rounds in three years. That's not a lot of boxing. This man to the left of me has had more rounds than me in the last fucking... Like, six, well, he, he's had more rounds than me in the last... Fucking four years in the last three months. Yeah. Look at this fuckers have more in the last fortnight <laughs> than I've had in four years. So I know that performance tonight wasn't great. But I couldn't win tonight. Same with yeah. the Italian fella. Sometimes you can't win. Can I ask you something on a personal level? We interviewed Lewis Ritson earlier yeah. in the week and we asked him about, you know, topping the bill on a matchroom card, Newcastle Arena. The adulation. Yeah. He's now on a lower level pro bellum card and he was yeah. quite honest about it and he said it suits him better. How do you feel headlining the O2? You know, you've had David Price in there. Now you're at the Hilton Hotel Newcastle. Uh, is not, that good for you, Dave? Not really, no. I would get paid a hell of a lot less. But um, I've got no ego about it. I've headlined the O2 Arena and now I'm, I'm third on the bill at the Hilton function room. But it doesn't matter to me. Because, well, why would it matter? I'm not bothered. I started out, I started out in front of 300 people at Don Valley. I started off small. I 
feel like I'm starting out again. I'm not going to be a diva about things. I wanted to go on first. Well, Paris had gone on first. I'm not bothered. I'm getting paid peanuts to box and function because it's what I, what I enjoy to do. I could have gone straight back to Eddie or Sky. Been on big money straight away in arenas. I have to ask you that. We, again, we interviewed Eddie before Christmas and he said, if Dave's fine to box, yeah. we'll support him. Has, has Eddie been in touch at all? I spoke to him about fighters for Levi, Kintiano and Stevie Levy. That is it. I've not been speaking to him because I'm not ready to box on them kind of shows. To all the people that say he's back for money, I've been offered massive fights for big money all over. It's not the right thing to do. And I'm managing train fighters. I can't I can't be taking mad fights and going, look, when it's your turn, you can't do it, but I can. Yeah. It's not it's not do as I say, not as I do. I hope that makes sense. So yeah, so yeah. It is what it is, mate, you know what I mean? Today was I was never gonna come out of the ring over the moon, because there was a no-win scenario. And they're the hard ones. But it's out of the way and I move on in two in, whether it's two weeks in the Magnolia in eight weeks. We go, we go again. Don't want to put you on the spot. We've seen a couple of your interviews we've done elsewhere this week. I think the Dennis Hobson in house one, you said that you still want world titles. I think with my pal sport and icons that you said you're still wanting British belt. What what is the ultimate aim for Dave Allen? Savage. Who him? No, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Um, do you know what I think? I think uh, I've got attributes that are like that are world class. But I say these things all the time. I'm looking for six and sevens across the board. Yeah. I think I've got some. I've got a couple handful of nine and tens. Power, strength, fucking bollocks. You've got a fucking few ones and twos there. I mean, yeah. You don't get fucking nowhere with them. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's about going, getting back to gym and doing these lot, putting the odd miles in. And fucking and, and working hard and, and getting the ones and twos up. What's your ultimate ambition, Dave? The ultimate ambition is headlining the O2 again Good luck. and getting to world title contention. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I think yeah. world title challenges is the thing. But I'm not that. I've, I've fucking sold 12,000 at the O2. That, that, that'll take you a long way towards getting massive fights. I'm not an idiot. I know that helps. I know it does. What I've done in the ring doesn't justify probably what I've done. But Life isn't fair, boxing isn't fair, neither is fucking life. So, we'll but these are the happens. steps you need to take, isn't it? The yeah, Hilton Hotel to get there. I'll do as many of these as I want as well. Yeah. And if people don't like him, don't fucking ch don't tune in to fight him. But I've I, I not really seen any negativity because I don't, I, don't watch, I don't really watch stuff on the internet or read stuff. I'm 30 years old on Monday, I couldn't care less. I don't care what anyone's doing. 30 years old and a father to be. Exactly. Congratulations, so, Dave. What I concentrate on is myself. These lot here. Yeah. And, and, and the fucking kid. Yeah. I couldn't care less what anyone else is doing. I hope everyone's doing really well, because that means everyone's going to be nice and happy. Yeah. The ones that are doing shit, you're the ones that are upset, so it is what it is, Steve. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Two, two quick ones, Dave. One of the things you said to us last year was when boxing's done, you want to do what Brendan Ingle did yeah. and give a lot back to boxing. Yeah. I think the fact that you've got these young lads here proves that that journey's already started as well, hasn't it, mate? I'm doing a good job. Stevie Levy fights a former title holder in Spain on the first. Um, got a massive fight news for another one of my fighters out for managed. Joe's turning pro. Yep. And we've got these four here. Got, got another boat load in the gym. And then, um, we're doing good things. I'm proud of what we're doing. You know, and, and more than just the, the boxing, all of these are dead happy. I've never been more confident in themselves ever, ever. He, he, were, he were a mute when we met him. He never spoke fucking one word. And now we're getting a low out of him every now and then. So, great stuff. Know, in the room, but that's what Brendan did. Was, you know, when, when I went to the gym, when I first started, I was fucking useless. But he made me feel 10 foot tall. You know? Yeah. So, and he feels about 11 foot tall at the minute, unbeaten. You know what I mean? He ain't losing for no one. So, really enjoy, I really enjoyed doing that. You know what I mean? And sometimes it probably is detrimental to my own career at times. But uh, when the time is right, I'll do what I have to do to if them big fights come out, I'll do what I have to do, but I really enjoy doing what I'm doing. Good man. Last one, Dave. A quick message for your true supporters and a quick message for the, the doubters or the naysayers. The message is the same. If you want to watch, tune in. If you don't, just don't watch. It's not, not they only use the last two rounds anyway. So I'm not on the telly for long because I use the fucking banjo. So <laughs> I'm, I'm not using I'm not using on the telly for long. Perfect, uh, way, perfect way to end, Dave. Dave, it's great to see you on the personal level. Thank you, everyone. Whether you like me or not, you know what I mean. I'm not really bothered. Don't, I'm, I hope you're. I hope everyone's all right. To be honest, I'm not really. I'm not really mad at anyone. I just hope everyone's all right. I'm sure they are, Dave Allen. Appreciate your time.